Where are we going? Is the diagnosis certain? Yes. We've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive development disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one! It's by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it for free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor, if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? She builds a shitload of paper rabbits, but, I mean, you know, otherwise it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'll help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. The ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. And that's why they went horseback riding, because the doctor said, yeah, do it. And they were like, yeah, we'll do it. Told you so. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe, I'll be okay. No problem, it's standard policy! If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know! Thank you. Huh. I guess that explains the one in the house. Just a bit longer, they'll be calling for you soon. The platypus. Go the platypus. A stuffed toy platypus. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Make a clock happen. Apparently I can do this in four. I don't know if that's true. Did you do parkour things today? What did you do? Well, I made a clock in four, so boom, deal with it. Oh. Oh, dude, we're in a movie theater. Psst, look. I know, I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in a theater. No, you idiot, look, we leaped. Oh yeah, we really leaped. 
Holy overcooked macaroni! The kid in the theater all by himself! What a loser! Hey, you both are awesome. I'm proud of you guys. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? Guess he doesn't want to see the movie. <laughs> Apparently it is rubbish. <laughs> and thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. Quod erat demonstratum. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Whoa, wait. I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up! That's not even a false sentence. Let's just go look for mementos. the third person you've removed here. Yeah, not like it's permanent. You know that poking them out of the way like that does nothing, right? Getting stood up. Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. I know, I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh look, this place is all empty and creepy now. I hope you're happy. Hey, I want to construct him a lady friend. Can we construct a lady friend for him, Eva? No. Ah. Why is it all flickery? Well, there's nothing here. I hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there's no olives this time. Hey, it's River! the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Uh huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were there. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. Oh, young love. <laughs> What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. Oh, I like these two. This 
bad because I know how it ends. She dies and he like doesn't want to remember anymore. I feel like I should make a clever remark. I feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there.